Okay, so we're on Google, we're going to type in uh, Giant Revolt, just been released. And this is the new Giant Revolt. Let's have a look here. So this is where, where are we now? We're on Bike Radar. And we've got the Carbon Adventure Machine. Uh, it takes 45 mil tires. Let's see if we can get some pictures up, can we? Let's just see here we go. So this looks like the... Uh, Dirty Kinza, Ryan Steers piloting that, and it's amazing. I didn't even notice this bike. Um, so it's black color, chain ring size. Let's see how well uh, you know I'm a fan of Giant um, product. And people, a lot of people say I'm sponsored by Giant, but I'm not. I don't get sponsorship. I do get uh, some decent deals at my local Giant store, but I'm definitely not sponsored. Uh, and so my opinions are totally unbiased. All right, see. So so it comes in different colors. Yeah, it's interesting color. That color, yeah, interesting. Let's have a look at this bike in detail. Uh, Racer Adventure Tourer. So it's uh, it's got so compared to the TCX, it's got a taller stack and a touch more reach. It's interesting. More reach, more stack. Hmm. Um, but shorter stem sizes out of the box. Lower bottom bracket for handling. So the main difference is it seems like it's got more bottle mounts. It's got a bit more. Of a, 4832, that's the first mistake. A 4832, and the tires are so big, it means you're going to be struggling on really steep climbs. I would recommend a 4630. 4630. It's 4832 is way too hard. It's silly. I'm, I'm, like, I'm actually running a 4630 in my TCR, and I'm not even doing like gravel stuff that much on there. So, this is a gravel bike. You're going to be needing gravel gearing on there. So, that's the first mistake. Um, the defuse seat post um, and bar, I, I rate those. I rate those. So I'm going to look. For, I'm going to look for, straight away for the mistakes. The mistakes for me for this bike is the gearing. It needs to have a um, a 4630 on the front. This is a 4832. I mean, it's just a silly gearing in my opinion. Everything else looks really pragmatic. Alloy bars and stem. Because it's gravel, this bike's going to be getting crashed. So having carbon bars and the bike's going to be getting dropped a lot. It doesn't make any sense. Um, so it's about 3,300. I wonder if the alloy rims. Let's go to the Giant website. Uh, let's go to the Giant website and see if we can get some more information there. So, so far, it looks good. Um, it doesn't, this it review doesn't have much information. Um, you can put racks and fenders on there. So stuff like that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Go to just go to Giant website and get some more information, shall we? All right. So on the Giant website, uh, on, on the Revolt. So the Revolt Advanced 2019. It's 2018, 2019. So you can see in this photo here that this rider, the model here, he's in the easiest gear in the back, and that and this hill doesn't look like it was that steep. So already in the easiest gears so we have three different colors we've got the zero one and the two let's go to the zero because i always recommend buy the best bike you can afford it's better to spend extra uh so composite frame set uh, composite fork i'm not sure if it's a carbon steerer um but uh, let's have a look here what wheels have we got what wheels have we got what wheels have we got? Uh, rims, carbon. That's, that's a carbon wheel set. Nice. I, I do rate the giant carbon rims. I'm not a fan of carbon rims for clinches because the braking surface is not so good. But for disc, then carbon works fine. You understand your, your durability is a bit compromised for, for heavy impacts because carbon can crack where alloy will dent. So bear in mind that. But yeah, the rear, they got it right. The rear cassette, you know, a 34. But a 34, a 32, 34. Is, is not enough gearing for a gravel bike. This bike's going to be a little bit heavier and it's going to have fatter tires, which also you know, make the gearing a bit harder. So it definitely should have a, a 4630, as a minimum, a 4630. You know, I do fast bunch rides on my TCR with a 4611. So the 46 is, is all anyone really needs is a big ring, unless you're racing Tour de France or something. You know, I can race A grade crits in a 46. Like it's it's hilarious that people think they need more than that. It's hilarious. So the gearing, it's like when the Diverge came out. Remember the Diverge came out with like a compact crank set and people are walking their bike up the hills and stuff? Same deal. Um, so you got racks, can put racks and accessories on there. 
down tube protector. That's pretty. That, that makes sense. Let's see if I'm gonna be close up here. Okay, so it's got that sort of defy extended seat post. I like that it doesn't have an ISP seat post because they can be a little bit. As much as I like them, they can be a bit of a hassle with bike fit and travel. Um, and if you do crash one, it can crack the seat post a lot easier, but these ones can be replaceable. So the defuse seat post, I've used it before. It does work really good on these telescopic defuse posts. I'm, I, I am a big fan. It's very, very cushy. It's got, it looks like they've got the new RX clutch derailleur, so it doesn't slap against the chain state. The chain doesn't slap against the chain state as much. Uh, I'm not sure, exactly sure, but yeah, so it's... It's a uh, mechanical flat mount discs, which for me look a little bit sleeker. And uh, yeah, so it's looking all right there. It's looking all right there. The paint job, I, I would I would like like a, you remember in 2011, the TCR and Defy did that like nude carbon finish. I can bring, bring that back. Bring that back, John. Bring that back. Looks like I can put some, some sort of fender mount on here. Um, but for fenders, I just use Crud Road Racer Mark III. They're really, really good. But they might not fit 40 mil tires. So it looks like Giant's done a bit of homework with this bike. It does. I, 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 I do rate the uh, Giant lifetime warranty. This crank set, though, eh -eh, two, two thumbs down from Duran Rider. Uh, it should, in my opinion, have a Shimano crank set on there, and then you can put like an absolute black 46 30 channels on there. That would before this bike even left the store, I would have my, I would have my little. Uh, Shimano or Tegu or Durace cranks in hand fitted with absolute black 4630 cranks and I'll be like hey could, could you guys quickly install this for me please as a condition of sale and and first no bike shop's gonna have an argument with that a bottom bracket wise I think it's a Shimano bottom bracket they're using there so that you would be able to probably do that straight away let's have a look here bottom bracket it's a Praxis bottom bracket okay so you have to pick a new bottom bracket so to make this bike truly gravel uh, you'd need a new bottom bracket and a new crank set and new rings and then then it would be a proper gravel bike assuming that you don't live in Florida you know if you live outside of Florida uh, then I would recommend a 46 30 for this bike this is an adventure bike adventure bikes should have adventure gearing so if Duran Rider who you know I definitely rate myself as someone who's handy on the climbs if I'm running a 46 30 on my 7 kilo TCR with 25 mil tires then if you're riding your 9 kilo Revolt with 40 mil tires you should have easy gearing than I do because A, you're most likely not as fit as me and that's not me being a dick, that's just being truthful that the less fit you are, the, the easy gear should be because otherwise you're going to be struggling more and you're not going to be as motivated. You know, you're just not going to be as motivated. So let's take the ego out of the equation and let's just go, well, let's go with maths, let's go with cadence. If, you, if you're going up a really steep gravel climb, you're cruising around, you're doing an adventure ride. This bike is not a race bike. Sure, it might be used in gravel races, but how often are you doing a gravel race? Like once a year? The rest of the time, you're going to be cruising around by yourself or with your mates, talking, chilling, and you want to have gearing where you can just cruise up the climb. You don't want to be up there. Otherwise, you're going to be spitting, spitting gravel, losing traction if you're grinding. If you just, just look at what gears mountain bikers use, World Cup mountain bikers on EPO, on steroids, on all the you know, world-class training and drugs, and they're using like 50 cassettes out the back. You know, the thirty up the front. So, this is this is mountain bike, road bike here. This is the gravel adventure cruiser bike. So, I would recommend easy gearing on this bike for sure. For me, the gearing on this is a big disappointment out of the box. It needs to be forty six thirty as a minimum. If we can go lower than that, go lower than that. I'm not sure I can go lower than that. Though. I'm not sure if this this derail amount will go lower. But if you can go lower than that, then it's going to be better. Or I'll even put a forty cassette on the back. I know these derails will work for forty cassette or thirty six pretty well. You always want to have gearing to suit your needs. Otherwise, you just buy it. you're going to be walking up the climbs, or your knees are going to be groaning. Let's go to uh, Giant Japan see if we can get some weights on this bike. Giant Bikes Japan, because I know the Japanese website. I got a little hot tip from Salvatore recently that they do uh, weights on the Japanese website. All right, so select by your location. Let's go to where are we? Where's Japan? Here we go. Nihonjin. Nihonjin desu. So we're over in Giant Japan, the new eyewear debut. So we're, let's see if we can get over here and have a look what we've got. So we've got the, they haven't done the, um, let's go to the TCX. 430,000 yen, jeez, they're a lot cheaper in Australia, aren't they? Uh, so the weight, 7.9 kilo. So the revolt's probably going to be, you know, it's going to be 
just under nine kilos, I reckon. You know, I reckon it's gonna be about nine kilos. So let's see if we can find the revolt on the Japanese giant website. Okay, so we've got something here. So I can read this, so I'm just reading through this now. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, understand that, yep. There's, there's no there's no there's no link to the actual website yet. So that's just some photos that's on there. Um, but you can see here this this guy here, this is guy's a racer, right? This guy's a racer and he's already in the easiest gearing. So if the racer, you know, the gun rider is in the easiest gearing and it doesn't even look like a, a real tough descent, you know? If he's in the easiest gearing in a race, then for me straight away this bike doesn't have proper gearing for the 99% of consumers who are going to be riding this bike who are punters. They're punters. This, this guy's a racer. You know, he probably climbs as fast as I can climb right now and he's in the easiest gearing. So, if, you know, I'll be using easiest, I'll be changing the gears in this bike straight away. You know, there, there needs to be something done in the bike industry where people, you know, I, I get that because most customers are like, oh, 40, oh, 40, oh, 46, oh, I can't be seen riding that at the cafe because people might laugh at me. But go to a gear cadence calculator online and work out your top speed the average speeds, etc. You know, we're doing like 55k an hour in the bunch the other day, you know, here in Thailand. 55k, and sitting on 55, 53, you know, big train, and I'm in the 46, 46, 11, just cruising along. So, you know, it's just it's, it's, it's laughable that people want hard gears these days. Very, very, very humorous, very humorous. But anyway, people suffer from their own ignorance or their own egos. But anyway, I'm getting in a. This is the real reviews. You're not going to get anybody telling you this shit on YouTube. You're not going to get anyone from the industry telling you this publicly. You know, people might talk about it behind behind the scenes, but you, you come to my channel, you're going to get fucking real opinion, non-industry biased opinion. Um, and so I like this bike. I think the gear ratios suck, but everything else on the bike, it, it does look like a, a nice classy bike. Would I buy one? Um, no, because I have a mountain bike and I have a TCR. And I just do gravel rides on my TCR if I want to, with 28 mil tires in the front. Um, but yeah, so yeah, in disc brakes and it does it does look nice. Uh, personally, if I was going to get a disc brake bike, I'd get something super light like a, a giant TCR disc and put 28 mil tires on that, and I'd go with that. Otherwise, I would uh, yeah. I, I, for me, these bikes, yeah, I'd prefer just have a mountain bike because any you know, lightweight giant ecstasy mountain bike, you know, super light, super fast. And it can descend a lot safer. So there you go. But anyway, these, these days in 2019, 2018, we've got so many bike options. If you want more bike advice, get a copy of my ebook. It's called Dune Riders Lean Body Bible. And the Revolt is actually featured in there. I do I do rate it and I do um, rate the Trek Boon and a few other bikes as well. So if you want a bike buyer's guide, if you're confused what to get for fitness, etc., or you want a short list, then I've updated it just a couple of days ago. It's got the best bike tips. It's got all the best products I recommend. It's got a list of what's the best tires, what's the best lights, what's the best pedals, what's the best shoes, what's the best bottles, what's the best mirror. It's got all that. So it takes out all the guesswork. You save, save yourself thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars buying the wrong stuff. And uh, no, one, no one's going to tell, tell you the truth. No one's going to tell it to you like I tell you. When it comes to bike product, no one's gonna tell it to you. Everyone, everyone's understandably got too much industry bias or sponsors or whatever. I'm gonna tell you straight up, straight up, what I really feel. Anyway, thanks for watching. The Giant Revolt review done. We'll do the Giant Re Defy next. Actually, I'll probably go to the Giant Defy over the Revolt, which I will list in reasons uh, soon. And that's probably just down to it's a little bit lighter weight. I do like lightweight bikes.